Hi everyone. Um, one thing that I was looking for a tutorial on which I didn't particularly find was about what to do if you get plugs stuck in your ears. Um, it's happened to me once um, and it is it can be a bit scary um, until you realise what you can do about it. And I'm going to explain. Now these plugs are double flared and they are a bit on the tight side. My, for my ears because my ears have only just stretched up enough to fit them because basically my ears were 10 mil anyway and these are 10 mil but I had to stretch my ears a tiny bit to get them in so I have to press a little bit but you can see they do come out but I'll show you what I do if they were to be stuck so let me just pop this pop this one back in I have to put lube on else I can't get it in very well. And boop, there we go, that's back in. Now, what I found is best to do if you got a plug stuck, which I did before Christmas, I put a double flare plug in and got it stuck. And that's why I've stretched up a little bit more than 10 mil. I've actually stretched my ears up to 11 so I can get double flare plugs in. So if you've got about a millimetre play in your ears, you tend to be alright putting plugs in and out. But if you're 10 mil or whatever and then you put in, manage to get in double flare plugs of that size, you may find you get them stuck. So be warned, wait until your piercing has loosened. If you get it stuck, what do you do? Well, instead of, don't panic is the first thing. And then what i found is I get some lube, whether it be... Um, you know, a cream I use or jojoba oil or that sort of thing. I tend to find um, I've got a cream. I think it's Nivea, which has got like jojoba stuff in, and that that and vitamin E. That tends to be better. But um, I also use cocoa butter a lot as well, and that's been fine on my ears. So what you do is you get that and you rub it all over the plug, like push the plug forward so you can see the middle part rub that all the way around and then push the plug back do the same with the earring sticking out the back, put lube on and then push it backwards and forwards and wriggle it around and that gets lube inside your ears then what you need to do is spend a few days just keep playing with them so like just when you've got a couple of minutes and you're just sitting there doing nothing just gently pull and tug on your ears a little bit not enough so it hurts but just enough so you can feel it pulling on your ears slightly, yeah, just a little bit. Just keep them lubed up and keep pulling and playing with them. Now you can pull on them and play with them for a bit to encourage them to get a bit stretchy and then you might, you might find after a couple of hours you can pop your plugs out. If you can't don't worry just do that for the next few days. Just keep them nice and moisturised pull on your plugs, keep playing with them and eventually over the space of probably about I'd say a week you'll find that your plugs should become loose enough to pop out. This one is tighter on my ears so I'm just going to see if I can pop it out with some lube. Bob, 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 it's going, I can feel it. There we go. See so that is tight on me this one this is a bit tighter but just by playing with my ears and putting lube on I can get it to pop out it's just ever so slightly tighter than that one for some reason but it's not a problem but basically the best thing to do is not panic and try and rip it out because all you're going to do is give your ear a blowout and it's going to just cause or tear it or cause damage I think the best thing to do is not panic Hopefully you've got a pair of plugs in that you can get away with wearing for work or school or whatever. Like if I had these and I could leave these in, it's not a problem. Um, but yeah, so basically the best thing to do is don't panic. Over the next few days, keep them lubed and moisturised. Keep playing with them and tugging on them. That'll loosen up the piercing and then after a few days to a week you'll be able to pop them back out. Um, if you get... Um, the ones that are screw back ones stuck. Um, if they're plastic, you can use some little, like, um, 
put jewellery cutting um, wire jewellery wire cutters um, just to snip that ring off the back and break it if you get metal ones stuck like I did the once because it's got cross threaded that's a bit more tricky because um, obviously you can't just play with your ears in the hope that you'll be able to pop them out because you're not going to stretch them that much this is just designed this method just works if the flares like about one mil bigger but if you if the flares a couple of mils bigger because it's like a screw back one then you are going to have more problems I found I'd got it cross threaded so I had to squeeze it really hard and it clicked which sort of put it back in line and then I was able to unscrew it but I was there for ages with pliers and all sorts I could not budge this earring but luckily I got it out but that's put me off wearing um, screw backs so I haven't worn screw backs since especially not metal screw backs Plastic ones are not so bad because if you get them stuck, like I said, you just get a pair of jewellery wire cutters and you can cut the, you can just snip the um, the, the ring of plastic that fastens on. Um, I'll show you what I mean. If you've got a screw back one, like this one, and it's got this little plastic ring that screws on at the back like like so do, do, do. if that for some reason gets stuck you can just I have these are not um, wire cutty ones but if they were you just get them like that and just squeeze really hard and you'll snap the plastic and then they pop off um, so you can get those out um, but yeah, the metal ones, if they get cross-threaded, you'd be with them for a bit longer. Um, I've never had them stuck where I haven't completely been able to get them out on my own. I haven't had to have them cut out or anything. But obviously, if in any doubt, if you do get a piece of jewellery stuck, go and see your local piercer because they're bound to have come across other people that have got them stuck or even the, themselves and they'll know what to do or they'll have the equipment to help fingers crossed they should anyway um, or they'll rec you know they'll be able to tell you what to do um, but this little trick if you've got double flare plugs in that are only one mil bigger than the size you are just keep doing keep them lubed keep playing with them just sit there you know pulling on them and jiggling them about and playing with them and they will loosen up over the space of a week and then you'll be able to pop them out so it's not a problem um, hope you find this tip useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.